Hello everyone, welcome to the Iron Boss Metro Crime YouTube channel. So today we are faceless because I'll be reading some news articles regarding Sean Diddy Combs. Apparently he is on uh did it himself watch of course i cannot say the word uh, as it is you know youtube so let's read the article the article the headlines 80 okay wait before we go as far as reading the article the article is by rachel mcconry uh published september 20th 2024 at uh, 10 to 5 p.m and the headline is Sean Diddy Combs Lawyer Shares Update After Self-Deletion Watch Designation. After Sean Diddy Combs was placed, uh, is on uh, delete himself watch as he awaits trial. After being arrested on charges including sex trafficking, his lawyer is sharing insight into the designation. New details surrounding Sean Diddy Combs' time in prison have come to light. The 54-year-old has been placed on self-deletion watch at the Metropolitan Detention Center in New York City, where he is currently being held without bond after being arrested and charged with racketeering, conspiracy, sex trafficking, and transportation to engage in prostitution. However, a source with knowledge confirmed with E! News that this is a common practice for high-profile individuals upon admittance to a federal facility and is not indicative of mental state. Combs lawyer Mark Anglefilo told TMZ that after spending hours with the Bad Boy Entertainment founder in federal lockup, he viewed his client as not at all Delicious, uh, calling himself strong, healthy, conf confident, and focused on his defense. E News has reached out to Combs' lawyer for comments as well as the Metropolitan Detention Center and has not heard back. Following Combs' September 16th arrest, Agnifilio shared with the court that his client was in therapy. He is not a perfect person. There has been drug use. He has been in toxic relationships, Ignefilio said during the hearing, according to NBC News, adding that Combs is re receiving treatment and therapy for things that he needs treatment and therapy for. Months after Combs' home in Miami and Los Angeles were raided by the FBI, he was taken into custody in New York City. Following his arrest, a federal indictment was unsealed and obtained by NBC News detailing Combs' charges of racketeering conspiracy, sex trafficking, and transportation to engage in prostitution. While in the days of following his arrest, Combs' attorneys have argued he should be released on bond, citing jail conditions a federal judge denied a $50 million bond proposal September 18 with Judge Andrew Carter, stating per N uh, NBC News, there's no condition that would assure Combs would not obstruct justice if granted bail. The reporter's team has maintained his innocence with Combs pleading not guilty to the charges during the September 17th uh, arraignment. Please reserve your judgment until you have all the facts, Ignefilio said September 16th. These are the acts of an innocent man with nothing to hide, and he looks forward to clearing his name in court. So basically, this is uh, what they are saying about PDD, that uh, there's a suspicion of him uh, trying to delete himself, and as a result, he is on self-deletion watch. And uh, so his lawyer is like, no, he is pretty strong. He's mentally fit and he has no intentions of hurting himself in any way. However, he is going through some therapy, uh, which I'm not quite sure what that is about because it could actually be linked to maybe his state of mind being, um, I don't know, maybe wants to delete himself. We don't know. But I guess uh, his lawyer's job is to 
uh, PR the whole situation so that he is not seen or looked at as weak. I don't know. You know how sometimes men can be, uh, but that is exactly what we are being told about PDD in uh, the, the detention center in New York. Mm, I don't know. What are your thoughts, guys? What are your thoughts regarding this report? Do you believe that maybe he might be uh, thinking of deleting himself? Because, come on, being uh, denied bail can also uh, show the future of your case, you know? The future of your case, it, it, it doesn't look good. I mean, also looking at R. Kelly, who is who actually is convicted for something almost similar to this one. It, it's crazy. And I am thinking about those white parties that you used to hold at the Hamptons and seeing people like Jay-Z there, seeing a whole lot of other celebrities. I'm not saying they ever got involved with what PDD is being accused of, but one can't help wonder if they witnessed something like this, even if they may not know the details, are they going to be witnesses that are going to be summoned to court? It's going to be very interesting. However, I do believe that more and more people that are going to come out and and uh, you know tell their story and then these charges i think they will continue to grow uh for dd this is a mess this is going to remind me or at least it reminds me of r kelly's own indictment and trial and all the mess because right now he is convicted he was found guilty so i think pdd may be also seeing the same uh future and probably that is why he is on self uh, deletion watch. I hope he is strong enough and do clear his name if indeed uh, he is innocent of this. Please do not leave this video without liking, sharing, commenting, and do consider subscribing and click the bell, the bell notification before you leave so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. See you next time with a new video. Goodbye.